How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to be checking out how we can get the Angry Birdie challenge done in Hitman 3's first mission called On Top of the World which takes place in Dubai. This challenge says we need to kill Carl Ingram by using an explosive golf ball. So as usual we're going to be starting from the very beginning of the mission when we first enter the building without any extra equipment or any extra starting locations just to make sure everybody can follow along even if it's your first time playing through the mission without any mastery level. So from the starting location we're going to follow the pathway we're shown here in the gameplay, go past the black gold bar all the way through until we get to the art gallery. Now at the end of the art gallery there's going to be a door on the right hand side which says staff only, however don't worry as you're pretty safe going through this doorway even without any disguise as there's no enemies the other side. As soon as we do we want to follow this corridor round until we get to the ladder, climb up the ladder and we'll find ourselves below this balcony. Now if we go straight here from the start of the mission, be careful as there will be three enemies patrolling past. Wait until the third guard has finished walking past the balcony before we decide to climb up. Once we do, head to the left and just outside the security office here on the third floor, there's going to be a guard using his phone. So sneak up behind him and take him out, then simply hide him inside the locker that we can find here in the security room. You don't have to worry about the other guard as he is always asleep. Make sure you also take his uniform as you will need this disguise to be able to access the higher floors without raising suspicion. And now that we have the uniform we want to go back down to the second floor now that we don't have to worry about trespassing to pick up the crowbar. Now the only reason we're going down here to get the crowbar is because we need the crowbar to open up one of the shortcuts. If you have already unlocked all of the shortcuts in this level as they save even when you restart mission, you won't actually need to get the crowbar for anything else so you can skip this step if you wish to. But I'm going to show you guys the full route just in case like I said it is your first time playing through this mission. Now from the corridor we can simply climb back up through the balcony the same way we went before. However this time instead of turning left we want to go right towards the helipad and here we want to climb up until we get to the fourth floor of the penthouse. If we've done this quick enough Carl Ingram should still be sitting here in the lobby. If he is in here we want to quickly walk in and activate the radio here on the right hand side. This will annoy him and make him go upstairs. Once we've activated the radio before we go upstairs onto the fifth floor of the penthouse we want to come here outside to the open terrace area. Now don't worry too much if by the time you got up to the 4th floor Carl Ingram had already gone up to the 5th floor. As you can do this in either order it doesn't matter if you annoy him on the 5th floor first and then he'll come down to the 4th floor or if you annoy him first on the 4th floor he'll go up to the 5th floor. So anyway once we make it outside onto this balcony next to the golf balls bucket there will be a ladder. This is the shortcut we need the crowbar to unlock. So once we've done this go down the ladder and just here hidden behind this red box we'll be able to find the explosive golf ball. So climb back up the ladder and then just interact with the bucket of golf balls to place the explosive one inside. Now the final step of this plan is to go back inside and climb up to the 5th floor. Now be very careful up here as there are a couple of guards which will be suspicious of you so make sure they don't see you. And here we want to wait until the servant walks away from this vacuum cleaner that's in the corner. And then once Carl Ingram is inside the room next to it, walk up to the vacuum cleaner and activate it. This will annoy Carl Ingram again. Once you've done this, simply go down and wait by the golf balls for him to turn up. If, like I said, you didn't get a chance to do the radio now, he would go downstairs and you simply do the radio after the vacuum cleaner. And that is pretty much it. It may take him a little while, but eventually he will turn up here onto the terrace. He will hit the explosive golf ball and this will give you the challenge. So I hope you did find this very helpful guys. If you did, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon and we'll see you next time.